Hello everyone, this is me Satya here and I'm doing your third week of uh, January reading start from the 15th through the 21st of January 2021. This is going to be for the sign of Capricorn. Let's see what it's going to be guys for this week time. I will be adding oracle cards in this reading but no charms will be added. So stay tuned and uh, while I shuffle the cards, let me remind you it's a general reading. It may, it may not resonate with everyone out there. Always pick the messages which are resonating and leave the rest for personal readings. You can always reach out to me on my email ID in the description box. You can also follow me on Instagram where I do upload daily readings. So yeah, let's see what is heading for the Capricorns for this week time, which has already started. Let's begin. <clears throat> what can you expect coming up for you for this week time? King of Pentacles. I do see somebody unleashing their uh, true potential, be that in relationship or in the work front as well. It can be you, it can be a person that you are going to be dealing with in this week time. Let's see more. What else is coming up for the Capricorns? Let's begin. Two fonts. I do see you excited to start something. Um, it can be, again, you. Maybe if, uh, if the first card that came out, the King of Pentacles, if it's you, uh, maybe you are ready to try your luck into something new that you want to uh, pursue uh, out of your passion. It can be a new job. It can be a new business that you would like to start. Um, and seeing your true potential uh, in that, I feel like you know, it, it can be very well something related to your work-life situation. I do see that you are looking forward to start something uh, that you are passionate about. And you know that you can make it work. But... Um, It is something new that you never tried for sure. It, it can be like maybe it's a passion that you are pursuing and maybe you are working uh, with the, uh, with something else right now already. And maybe it's something new that you want to start out of your passion. Um, but whatever it is, I do see that it will be successful. I, I am picking up that energy because it's something like, you know, your inner calling asks you to go for that. So I do see you having a lot of success with that one thing which you would start anew out of your passion. It can be something in your love life as well, but it can be majority, for majority of you, it will be something related to your work and career goals. Um, or for some of you, maybe you have a, you are starting something new uh, to unleash your own powers. Maybe you are going to start working on yourself, on your health, on your work. Uh, you know, you might start working out uh, just to just to see what you are capable of. Maybe you are like, you know, planning to. Uh, become your better version that way and maybe you know your your passion is going to go to be the gym thing as well so it can be different for different people but i do see you getting successful in whatever you are pursuing right now regarding your passion this week uh it's it's gonna get you the results that you want then we do have the hangman i feel like you know whatever it is that you have been uh, that you are doing uh, whatever it is that you are planning to start um this is something that had been in the pipeline for you for, for quite some time you were not able to take a stand for it maybe because of the work pressures that you are already working uh you know for maybe you are already working and it, it is something a bit, something like a business that you want to start maybe you were unable to pursue that earlier but now you are going to start it um it is something that had been on hold for some time not that uh you didn't ever wanted to pursue it but it is something that you maybe never got time to do so. So I do see that now you will be getting that time and now you will be working towards it. Um, leaving other things behind. Maybe for some of you, you might leave your job and pursue your passion as well. That could be the case for some of you as well. King of Pentacles again. I feel like you know it's something um, that you are trying your luck with, basically. Um, and I don't think it's something related to your love life. I feel like you know it's something related to your, uh, your, your personal uh, growth. We do have the seven of wands. Um, maybe you always had this thing in your mind that you wanted to pursue, but you never had the support. And now, still, I don't think that you have support, but you are ready to unleash your powers, unleash what you are capable of. You are ready to explore your talents, is what I'm picking up. You, you don't need the support of others. You are good enough for yourself, is what I'm picking up. Uh, eight of wands yep you are already in communication with someone around that one thing which you want to start um and i feel like you know there's a lot of growth for you in this one uh situation for some of you it could be a single mother or a single parent as well uh, a father or uh, as well and if that's the case maybe your 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 uh, spouse your person was not ready to give you the go ahead 
around it and now you are breaking yourself free from any limitations and pursuing it uh let's pull some uh, cards for your love life specifically let's see what has been gone in your love life for this week time because this is pretty much about your own personal growth is what i'm picking up let's see what is coming up for you for your love life specifically five of pentacles you are not considering it right now you want to consider um something else you you just don't want to think about your love life right now you have to focus on your career your personal growth your yourself basically uh five of swords yeah you want to basically um uh, break free from any self-imposed blocks you want to pursue all and everything that you want in your life without needing approval of others is what i'm picking up you are unleashing from any uh self-imposed blocks or you're unleashing your true powers and um with the moon card, it's like, you know, you are taking your mask off and you are ready to explore yourself, basically, whatever you can do. You want to see that for yourself. You don't want to prove anything to anyone. You want to do anything and everything for yourself. For some of you, you might be changing your job because maybe you started that job out of uh, your family pressure or maybe because your friends were doing so, you were doing so as well. But it was never something that entrusted you, uh, you know, into it. So you are now pursuing your passion without thinking about others you might be picking up some for some sort of fights arguments with your family and friends as well regarding the same situation but i do see you standing tall for yourself uh at the end of the day so let's see what's the oracle guidance for you for this week time balance spirituality and practicality try to connect yourself to your god for the for the support that you need make sure you have the support coming from the god plus uh, seek guidance as well make sure you maintain a healthy balance between spirituality and practicality because you would not need anybody else you would not need a person's help in this situation all you need the help or guidance is from the god that you believe in and try to keep yourself connected to the god that you believe in so you could receive the messages that you need to receive right now or the guidance that you need right now coming from the divine not from another person you don't need that i do see you working towards your your personal goals January to June could be a significant time for you regarding the specific thing that you want to start as well. Then um, your life partner is yet to enter in your life and you are not considering that right now at, at all. I don't see you. your focus is your love life right now. But yes, your life partner is yet to enter in your life. So yep, just, just uh, focus on yourself right now. While you wait, uh, believe that you are um, worthy of love. When the time is right, you will meet the right one. Uh, so just just do the thing that you want to do to make yourself feel good about yourself. Believe in your prayers. Whatever you want, whatever you desire, whatever you pray for, you will get that. Um, your life partner is now ready and coming. As you do things to please yourself, you will have a person entering in your life who is going to accept you the way you are. I feel like you know, for some of you, you might you meet uh, you might meet your life partner through your work or through your passion that can be the case for some of you as well you might need the person uh, that you are destined to get married to through your work or passion as well and like i said if, if you have to go alone on this journey don't be fearful you are going to meet the right one on the uh, you know on on, the, on your individual path you know you don't need um you always meet your tribe when you are on the right path you don't have to fear uh, of being left alone you will meet the tribe uh on, on your way for sure you will make new friends you will make new people you will meet new people you will meet your life partner as well you don't have to worry about you know if even if your life partner or even if your ex maybe was not uh, you know uh, supporting you or your dreams let them go away because you will meet the one who will support you forever so just go ahead be blessed uh you will be blessed for sure and know that you are you know being blessed so yeah just keep moving forward and uh Try to keep yourself connected to the God that you believe in and try to keep donating something or keep doing the um, charity as well. It is going to also help you in, uh, in many ways that you can even think of right now. So yeah, that's pretty much it coming up for you for this week time. If the reading resonates with you, do like, subscribe and share. If you're willing to get a personal reading, you can always reach out to me for that on my email ID in the description box. Till I do the next reading for you guys, take care. Bye-bye.